to just how close 2005 YU-55 is going to get to Earth on November 8th, 2011 of this year when it gets to its closest point to the planet. There's a lot of speculation out there, a lot of videos out there saying that YU-55 is going to hit Earth. Well, I'm not going to sit and lie to you. There is uh, actually a small chance that it could hit Earth. So what I'm going to attempt to do with this video is to show you if it did stray off course and hit Earth on that day, November 8th, 2011 of this year, what side of the planet would be at risk if it did stray off course to Earth? Also, I'm going to be showing how close YU-55 will be coming to the planet on that day. So in front of us here on the screen, we have a program called Eyes on the Solar System, Beta, that the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California developed this program. Everything you see on the screen there is in real time. Now, today's date is September 30th, 2011, and it's 6.33 p.m. in the evening, central time, my time. I'm in the central time zone, and that's my time here where I'm at in the United States. Now, I already have this program set to where it's measuring the distance from Earth to YU-55 or 2000 YU-55. The present distance as of September 30th, 2011, right now, real time, as I record this, the present distance is 33,465,672 miles and counting down as it comes in towards the Earth at a relative speed of 46,688 miles per hour. That's what YU-55 is traveling at right now. What I'm going to do now, is I'm going to zoom out from Earth. Now, all these uh, satellites you see orbiting Earth, all that is in real time also, displaying where certain satellites are. And you can also click on them with this program, and it'll tell you how fast they're traveling, what type of satellite it is, what they're doing up there, and everything. Anyway, to show you how vast space is, I'm continuously zooming out. And you see other orbits of satellites that are farther out. And I'm going to continue to zoom out all the way out here. As you can see now, SOHO, which is the solar, uh, the satellite that uh, takes uh, pictures of the sun and monitors the sun activity. You can see where it's sitting at out there. And as I continue to zoom out, you see a line forming. And that's the line is pointing straight toward YU-55. Okay. There's YU-55, and there's Comet Ellen, and this is all, again, in real-time data. All these lines you see are different uh, asteroids and stuff like that that's in, in comets that's in orbit uh, in our solar system right now. But uh, let's go to... Let's go to YU-55. There's YU-55. Now, the shape of YU-55 that they have here on the screen is based upon some information that they got when they uh, scanned it with a radar. Uh, and it, so this is actual data that they received of how YU-55 pretty much looks. So this is, the rel this is basically the shape of YU-55 as it comes toward the Earth. Now, again, I want to repeat this. Right now, YU-55 on September 30th at 635 is over 33 million miles away but closing in rapidly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the date and time. Okay, you see me doing that. I'm clicking on date and time. I'm changing it to November 8th at basically 6.36 in the evening, pretty much the same time as now, only we're going into the future to November 8th. Now, what do we see here? As we click submit we see that wow look at that distance change there the distance is only 201,000 miles but it's counting upward which means it has already came to its closest point to the planet earth and is heading out from earth now in this picture here you can see earth see how much bigger earth got there by the way guys pretty kind of disturbing if you look at it like that but I'm here to show you, according to the, the data that NASA has in this program and that they're putting out publicly, 
YU55 is not going to hit the earth. But as you can see, as I went from September 30th to November 8th, that's how close it is. Now, what we're going to do now is go down here and pinpoint the time. I'm going to change that time to 5. 25. Actually, I better do it this way or that's not going to work out the way I want it to. Okay. On this data here, you can still see that up here on the right hand screen here. YU55 is still closing in at as of at 526 p.m. on that date, November 8th. Still closing in, but look how slow it's closing in, which means it is reaching its closest distance to Earth between 525 and 530. It's going to get as close as it's going to get to Earth on that date. 198,000 miles from Earth is as close as YU55, 2005, YU55 going to get to Earth. As you can see it right here on the screen, right there. And it will be traveling at a relative speed of 30,683 miles per hour. Now, let's say something in space affects the path of YU55. And by some weird chance, it heads toward Earth. Now, according from that, according to this data here, the angle, as you can see it rotating here slowly, if it was to hit the Earth, this is the side of the Earth that it will hit on if it comes in toward Earth, if something changes the, um, the path of YU-55. So let's click on it, and there you have it. If YU-55 were to stray off course and hit the planet Earth, this is the side of the planet that YU-55 would hit. Now, what do you see there on the screen? You see the Pacific Ocean. You see the United States of America, parts of Canada up there. Mexico, Central America. Cuba, parts of the Atlantic. So anywhere that you see in this picture here of the Earth facing toward YU-55 on November 8th, 2011, it would hit somewhere in this part of the earth at some point if it were to stray off course and hit the planet. So there you have it. Take a good look at it. Pass this video around. Let people know that if it were to go off course, this is a part of the earth that it would hit. I'm not saying it's going to go off. I'm saying this is a part it would. And according to this, as I've been sitting there talking, 198,074.8 or seven, I believe it was, is as close as YU55 is going to get on November 8th. So I hope you guys understood this video. Again, I was demonstrating how close YU55 would get to Earth, as you can see here, 198,000 miles, and what side of the planet it would hit on. United States of America would be in danger of getting hit by YU55.